it seems like as every season of Warzone goes on, the Modern Warfare weapons keep slowly falling out of the meta of weapons to use in Warzone. So my mission is simple, to shed light on some of these Modern Warfare weapons to show that they are still extremely viable and that they can compete against some of these Cold War weapons. In this video, I'm gonna show off two of my favorite MW weapons, the M13 and the MP7. What the hell? The guy must have just climbed up. They're all at Nova, huh? So as you can see from some of those intro clips, both of these guns are still really good. And so are a lot of the Modern Warfare guns. I think just a lot of the Cold War weapons have a slight edge up on almost all of them because a lot of them just have better mobility and super low recoil. However, the M13 is the ultimate low recoil gun of Modern Warfare guns. And the stats, when you compare it to a weapon like the Krig-6, which is the super low recoil gun of Cold War guns, they're pretty similar, honestly. The M13 is super fun to use and super easy to use, especially for new players to Warzone or people who struggle with controlling recoil. So this is the loadout I was using. I have a, another video where I go more in depth covering the M13 and the MP7, so I will make sure to link those in the description below. This is the MP7 loadout I was using. This is kind of built for mobility um, because that is the biggest thing that the Modern Warfare SMGs struggle with compared to the Cold War SMGs is that they don't have the mobility and the speed that those do. So I'm using the no stock here to give me the absolute best movement speed. And this makes it uh, pretty similar, I would say, to the Mac 10. Now I am using a red dot. You don't need to use a red dot. Um, I'm just weird and I like the red dot. I would say if you like to aim down sight, use a tack laser. If you like to hit fire, use a five milliwatt laser. Otherwise, statistically, this gun is actually super good in close quarters and actually kills faster than many of the Cold War SMGs. So guys, I've got a high kill Rebirth Island win where I was using both the M13 and the MP7 and they absolutely can hold their own. If you guys enjoyed the video, please do me a huge favor, drop a like on it. If you wanna see more content like this, please consider subscribing to the channel. Turn those notifications on if you wanna see more as well. And if you wanna see this stuff live where I record pretty much all these gameplays, head over to my Twitch at twitch.tv slash tcaptainx. Hey, thanks for the follow, Dragon Rider. I promise that was not planned. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Oh, you're not sitting under here. Go. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Coming. Yeah, one coming. I wipe them, they're all dead. Hey, there's a team here still by our lit up. There's still one here, I think. Why not? Why am I running C4s? Yep, you're right. Wow. Right. 
Close up, Steve. Careful. No, he was falling. It was his body falling down. Yeah, yeah. Is there really one more? Yeah, I think he's up top here. <laughs> oh, Let's go. Wait, I don't know where he was. He's choking on gas somewhere. Bro. Oh, he's on the roof? Yeah, he's up top, 100%. He bailed. He's gonna hear you, I think. Uh, I'm just better. Oh, brother. I'm just better. GG, he's man. a bot. <laughs> Hey. I'm telling you, M13, MP7. It's the meta. Nice, bro. Good shit. Uh, Sissio Tech, welcome aboard. <laughs>